Oh, I love this anime so much. Opening song, how they talk. Okay, I'm gonna study Japanese so hard and be able to understand everything what they're saying. But wait, how to learn Japanese from zero? What should I start from? Hi everyone in the world, Yahoo Minna Mochi Sensei desu. I have been asked many many times such like I finished learning hiragana and katakana and what should I do next? So today I'll tell you the best process to learn Japanese in short term. Here are steps to get you started on your path to learning Japanese. Start with the Japanese writing systems. So number one, start with the Japanese writing system. Japanese uses a combination of three writing systems, which is hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Begin by learning hiragana and katakana, which are phonetic alphabets representing syllables. It takes only one to two weeks to master two hiragana and katakana characters. And kanji is a set of Chinese character using in writing. Familiarize yourself with the basic characters and their pronunciations. Kanji is considered the most difficult part when learning Japanese because of many reasons. Too many characters, too many stroke orders, meanings and pronunciations. It's hard to remember them all. So how to learn kanji and their correct pronunciation effectively? As I introduced before, please try using highly recommended app MochiMochi to learn kanji and vocabulary. This is an app using space repetition system, the best way to memorize what you learn. It's easy to forget kanji without reviewing. So let's have a look at the forgetting curve here. This shows how our retention of knowledge weakens over time without reviewing. For example, if you learn some kanji such as king, gold, toki, time, te, hand, then you don't review them at regular intervals, you forget them soon. So, space repetition is research proven the most powerful technique for strengthening your memory. Space repetition method asks you to revise kanji and vocabulary at systematic intervals. But how to use this method in your kanji learning journey? By using Mochi Mochi app, you don't need to calculate the time to review your learned words. After finish one lesson, Mochi Mochi will calculate the best time to review called golden time by sending you some cute notice. So you just need to wait for Mochi Mochi's notification to memorize kanji effectively. Learning at golden time helps you memorize thousand kanji and vocab in one month. And based on your learning history, Mochi Mochi divides your learned kanji and vocabulary into five levels of memorization from level one, which is just learned or have not memorized, to level five, memorized well. You also can see your learned words follow these levels in your notebook. Besides space repetition, Mochi Mochi offers more than 6,000 kanji and vocabulary for many individual needs. From JLPT and basic kanji courses to daily conversation courses. Just choose the course you like and enjoy it. For example, if you're preparing to take JLPT N5, let's learn some kanji and vocab in the N5 course. Let's learn N5 kanji. Watashi. The meaning is I or me. Choose the correct answer. And how do you read it again? Watashi. Watashi. Let's check next kanji. Anohito. The meaning is that person. Choose the correct answer. And the reading again. Anohito. It takes only 5 to 10 minutes to finish one lesson, and learning kanji with mochi mochi becomes easier and less pressure thanks to its cute and colorful design. To get this app for free, search mochi mochi on the Apple Store or Google Play. Choose mochi mochi learn kanji, then download. Learn basic Japanese grammar. Japanese sentence structures follows subject, object, verb order which is different from english for example in english i read a book is subject verb and object 
。But in Japanese, it's 私は本を読みます。Which is subject, object, and verb. Study basic sentence patterns and learn how to form simple sentence. Watch this video to learn how to build a sentence in Japanese. Build vocabulary. Start by learning commonly used vocabulary and phrases. Begin with everyday vocabulary such like numbers, greetings, color, and basic verbs. Use flashcards, apps, or textbooks to help you memorize and practice new words. Look for JLPT N5 vocabulary and grammar because that's the basic of common used words and phrases. Of course, Mochi Mochi is the great app to learn basic Japanese vocabulary and phrases besides learning kanji. Check it out! Practice pronunciation. Pay attention to the sounds of Japanese pronunciation and practice it regularly. Listen to native speakers, repeat phrases, and record yourself to compare pronunciation. Do you think pronunciation will improve in just one attempt? The answer is no, it won't. Repeat native sounds every day, whether it's a hundred times or two hundred times. Do you just want to pass the gel PT or do you want to be able to speak after passing gel PT? If you prefer this, you need to develop a habit of producing a lot of output right now. Otherwise, it's impossible. Find a language exchange partner or tutor. Interacting with native Japanese speaker is invaluable for practicing conversation and receiving a feedback. Join language exchange platform or find a tutor to practice conversation and listening skills. Practice reading and writing. As you progress, start reading simple Japanese textbook. Or children's book to improve your reading skills. Write short paragraphs or diary in Japanese to practice your writing skills. When you practice writing, try to use the new vocabulary that you learned. For example, Bioin Hospital, Tomodachi Friend, Osake Alcohol, Asa Morning, Hiru Afternoon, Yoru Night. These are all N5 vocabulary. I'm gonna use all of these vocabulary and write a diary. Can you read it? 今日は朝8時に起きました。9時から病院に行きました。昼ごはんは友達とハンバーガーを食べました。とても美味しかった。夜は家でネットフリックスを見ました。日本のドラマを見ました。日本語が難しかった。でも少し分かった。明日も日本語の勉強をします。おやすみなさい。Be consistent and persistent. And number seven, this is the most important part. Be consistent and persistent. Learning a new language takes time and effort. Set aside regular studying sessions, practice daily, and be patient to yourself. Celebrate small victories along the way to stay motivated. Remember that consistency and practice are key to improve your Japanese skills. Summary Number one, start with the Japanese writing systems. Number two, learn basic Japanese grammar. Number three, build vocabulary. Number four, practice pronunciation. Number five, find a language exchange partner or tutor. Number six, practice reading and writing. And number seven, be consistent and persistent. Please enjoy the process. Let's study Japanese together. And thank you for watching till the end. I hope this video will motivate you guys. Let's study every day. And don't forget the pronunciation practice too. Not just input. Output, output. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Mata ne.